want the leg room, say you want the leg room, don't blame the mechanism. All right, Dad, we're five blocks from the house. Sit sideways. Like an animal. Because of her, I have to sit there like an animal. Serenity now! Serenity now! What is that? Doctor gave me a relaxation cassette. When my blood pressure gets too high, the man on the tape tells me to say, Serenity now! Are you supposed to yell it? The man on the tape wasn't specific. <laughs> what happened to the screen door? It blew off again? I told you to fix that thing. Serenity now! Serenity now thing doesn't work. Just bottles up the anger and then eventually you blow. What do you know? You were in the nut house. What do you think put me there? I told you to clean up this garage. I have to put my car in. This is a place of business. I told you never to come in here. Serenity now. All right. Dad, you really should lay off the serenity now stuff. So, what am I supposed to say? Hoochie mama? Oh, crap! I'm in there! Oh, you're not! Hoochie mama! Hoochie mama! Hey, the ass man's in town! You got that straight? Boy, I never dreamed it could make such a difference. <laughs> Costanza, what's... Uh... Where's your friend, Kramer? I don't know why. Because I'm looking for him, that's why. He stopped short. Well, what, what do you mean? In a car with my wife. He stopped short. You think I don't know what that's about? That's my old move. I used it on Estelle 40 years ago. I told everybody about it. Everybody knows. Mm, I stopped short. You know, stopping short. That's a good move. <laughs> You're not kidding. That's a good move. Hey, thanks. Hey, Frank. Don't frank me. I know what you did. How dare you stop short with my wife? Come on, Frank, relax. I don't even know what you're talking about. I think I don't know. Ash man! <laughs> to think I almost split the profits on the man's ear with you. Bro. Man's ear! Bro! Man's ear! Frank. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> Why did the policeman have to yell at me like that? <laughs> Lane, thanks for coming to pick me up. I can explain everything. All right, well, we'll talk about it tomorrow at the office. Okay, where's my boy? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sitting at home reading a periodical, and this is the call I get. My son is a bootlegger. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Who put you up to this? Was it her? All right, wait a minute. I think you've got it backwards. My George isn't clever enough to hatch a scheme like this. You got that right. What the hell does that mean? That means whatever the hell you want it to mean. You saying you want a piece of me? I could drop you like a bag of dirt. You want a piece of me? You got it! Up there. Up here? Oh, yeah, top floor. <laughs> Listen, Frank, uh, have you ever considered wearing something for support? Now, look at this. Mind you, this is just a prototype. You want me to wear a bra? No, no. A bra is for ladies. Meet the bro. <laughs> This feels very comfortable. You see? I feel 10 years younger. Yeah, and your posture's a lot better. Look at you. And I can breathe easier, too. I told you. Now, Frank, listen, here's what I'm thinking. Now, you have a friend in the bra business, right? Of course, Sid Farkas. He's the best in the business. Here's our chance. What do you say? It'll be me, you, and the bro, bro. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> Except we gotta do something about the name. Why? What's wrong with bro? No, bro's no good. Too ethnic. All right, you got something better? How about, uh... The man's ear. <laughs> man's ear. That's right. A brazier for a man. The man's ear. Get it? Well, you scared her off. We may never see mom again. <laughs> hey, George, what do you like better? The bro or the man's ear? <laughs> <laughs> 
Dad, <laughs> we need to talk. What do you need all that ketchup for? <laughs> this is my ketchup. <laughs> I bought this ketchup just so I could have as much as I want. <laughs> so I, I talked to Phil Kasikoff today. Phil Kasikoff? Yeah, you know, my friend, the bra salesman. He says they're looking to maybe put somebody on, so I got you an interview next Friday with his boss. Next Friday? What time? Two o'clock. That's my whole afternoon! <laughs> I was gonna look for sneakers! You can look for sneakers the next day! He doesn't know anything about bras. I know a little. Besides, what do you have to know? Well, it wouldn't hurt to go in and be able to discuss it intelligently. <laughs> Maybe you should take a look at a few bras. Where's your bra? Give him a bra to look at. I'm not giving him a bra. Why not? Because I don't need him looking at my bra. Fine, so he'll go into the interview, he wouldn't know what he's talking about. We have to. <laughs> you don't even know what they're made from. They're made from lycra spandex. Get out of here, lycra spandex? I think they are made from lycra spandex. You want to bet? How much you want to bet? I'm not betting. Take a look. All right, I'll get a bra. I don't know what the big problem is, getting a bra. She doesn't want to get a bra. I'm not saying go to the library and read the whole history, but it wouldn't kill you to know a little bit about it. All right, it wouldn't kill me. How long does it take to find a bra? <laughs> What's going on in there? You ask me to get a pair of underwear, I'm back in two seconds. <laughs> you know about the uh, cup sizes and all? They have different cups. Yeah, I, I know about the cups. <laughs> you got the A, <laughs> B, the C, the D. That's the biggest. I know the D is the biggest. I based my whole life on knowing that the D is the biggest. Here, here's the bra. Let me see it. 100% lycra spandex. Let me see I it. I told you. Here, I think you know everything. <sighs> That's surprising. All right, what else? You got the cups in the front, two loops in the back, all right? I guess that's about it. I got it. Cups in the front, loops in the back. You got ketchup on it. What is this thing, anyway? It's Cornish game hen. What is that, like a little chicken? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's not a little chicken. <laughs> a little chicken. <laughs> it's, a, it's a game bird. A yeah. game bird? Yeah. What do you mean, like you, you hunt it? Yes. <laughs> How hard can it be to kill this thing? He's heard of them, <laughs> Let me understand. You got the hen, the chicken, and the rooster. The rooster goes with the chicken. So who's having sex with the hen? <laughs> Talk about it another time. But you see my point here? You only hear of a hen, a rooster, and a chicken. Something's missing. Something's missing, all right. <laughs> They're all chickens. The rooster has sex with all of them. <laughs> That's perverse. So has anybody seen Firestorm? Firestorm, that's a hell of a picture. Yeah. Remember when they had the helicopter land on top of that car? Hey, 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 come on, come on. I haven't seen it yet. It doesn't have anything to do with the plot. Still, still, I like to go in fresh. Oh, mother of God. Thank God that's so. The mother seems to hit the sauce pretty hard. I didn't like that. And who doesn't serve cake after a meal? What kind of people? would kill them to put out a pound cake something. So they didn't give you a piece of cake. Big deal. It is a big deal. You're supposed to serve cake after a meal. I'm sorry, it's impolite. Not impolite. Stupid, that's what it is. You gotta be stupid to do something like that. Your father is absolutely right. We're sitting there like idiots drinking coffee without a piece of cake. What is this? The marble rye? Oh, dear, I forgot to put out that, that bread they brought. We forgot to bring it in. No, I brought it in. They never put it out. Where is it? I don't know. Where'd you put it? Right over there. Well, it's gone. You stole the bread? What do you mean stole? It's my bread. They didn't eat it. Why should I leave it there? 
Because we brought it for them. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't good enough for them to surf. Is it possible they took it back? Who would bring a bread and take it back? Those people, that's who. I think they're sick. People take buses to get that ride. Maybe they forgot to put it out. They didn't forget to put it out. It's deliberate. Deliberate, I tell you. <laughs> What's going on in here? Are you two still playing? You've been up here three hours. We still haven't finished the first game. First game? Well, we're still uh, learning the subtleties of the table. Who knows the maestro? He could have the picture. Oh, forget about it. It's not your cousin. You don't know that! <laughs> We're gonna go see him, huh? As soon as the game is over. Oh, boy. Eleven corner pocket. <laughs> now, this is remarkable. I'm lounging, and yet my pants remain perfectly creased. It's him! <laughs> it's Carlo Costanza! Come on, are you sure? I know him anywhere. I've seen that man in Tuscany. Eccentric fellow. Reputation of being kind of a village idiot. They still say we're related. Oh, I love this piece. All right, come on, Frank. It's your shot. I can't make anything. That's because you don't know how to follow through correct. Follow through? What do you mean? All right, here, come on. Let me show you. Take hold of your stick. Yeah, I got it. All right, get down. Right. Bring it back slow. Yeah. A little huh? unnatural, but I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, my God! Happy Festivus! George, this is a surprise. Who's the suit? Yo, Dad, this is my boss, Mr. Kruger. Have you seen the pole, Kruger? Yeah, he doesn't need to see the pole. Then. He's going to see it. It's made from aluminum. Very high strength to weight ratio. I find your belief system fascinating. Dinner's ready! Let's begin. Dr. Van Nostrand. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> Welcome, newcomers. The tradition of Festivus begins with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Now, you're gonna hear about it. You, Kruger, my son tells me your company stinks. Oh, God. Why? We'll get yours in a minute. Kruger, you couldn't smooth a silk sheet if you had a hot date with a babe. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> and now, as Festivus rolls on, we come to the feats of strength. Not the feats of strength. This year, the honor goes to Mr. Kramer. Oh, gee, Frank, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I have to work a double shift at H&H. &H. I thought you were on strike. Yeah, well, I caved. I mean, I really had to use their bathroom. <laughs> Frank, no offense, but this holiday's a little... <laughs> out there. Hey, Kramer, you, you can't go. Who's gonna do the feats of strength? How about George? <laughs> Good thinking, Cougar. Until you pin me, George, Festivus is not over. Oh, please, somebody stop this. Let's rumble! I think you can take him, Georgie. Right, come on, be sensible. Stop crying and fight your father. Ow! Oh, Ow, I got This is I the best festival ever!